YouTube. It's cracking. It's your boy. We're back with another banger. You know what I'm saying? So we kick this off. I need y'all to go ahead and like that video right down there in the corner. Hit that like button. I'm asking you to hit the like button right now. Go ahead and hit that like button. If you ain't subscribed, I need you guys to subscribe. I'm trying to hit 50 subscribers by the end of this week. Give me the 50. I think I need, at this point, uh, I, need, I think I need eight more subscribers. I can get that in this video. So if you're watching this, hit that subscribe button. You see I'm being consistent, so you ain't got to worry about me ghosting. You feel me? We're dropping the heat. Share this video to somebody that may need it. And uh, let's get into this video, man. I ain't going to hold you guys up. All right, so look, when you want to obtain something in life, right, even though you may not know what that thing is, per se, but you know you just want more, right? You want more. You want to be greater than what you are. You, you want to strive to be excellent. You want to make mama proud. You want to make your daddy proud. You followed in his footsteps. Excuse me. You know what I'm saying? You wanna you wanna be somebody. You wanna make a name for yourself. Well, in order for you to do this, you're gonna have to act as if you can't fail. Yeah. It's a tough feat, but it is what it is. Now let me break this thing down for you. You want to act as if you can't fail. You want to know why? Because it buries, it digs deep down into your mind. It starts to set in stone because of the act of repetition. Repetition is the first key or the first step to learning. So if you want to teach yourself to win, if you want to teach yourself to be successful, if you want to always keep progressing in life, you're going to need to nail repetition down to a T and you're going to have to nail this down in teaching yourself that you can't fail. Whenever you do fail, whenever you do come up short, you need to understand that these things are lessons, right? Your mistakes and lessons are two different things. So a mistake is when you don't quite make it or uh, you don't measure up and you quit. That's a mistake. A mistake can cost you dearly. Now a lesson is when you try and you fail, but you keep going. Because now you know what not to do. Now you know what to do. So never mistake a lesson for... <laughs> that's an um, uh, oxymoron. Never mistake a lesson for a mistake. But you get what I'm saying, right? So you gotta, you guys gotta... If you want something in life, you just gotta keep acting as if you can't fail. As, as, as if it is impossible to fail. Right? Ask... And maybe you'll get what you want. You know, there's a saying that says, ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. Now, I'm not the smartest man in the world, but every time when I was a kid, you know, you go in the kitchen, your mama in there cooking, your daddy in there cooking, your granny in there cooking. And um, they told you not to touch that pot on the stove. Don't touch that pot on the stove. Don't go in there and touch it on, you know what I'm saying? But you never got none. You went in there and tried to sneak it, but she knew. She could hear them pots from five houses down. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. I know you know what I'm talking about. Um, but I said that to say this. We went in there on the search for a snack or a quick bite, but what we didn't do was just ask. Now, think back to how many times you asked your people for some food and they told you no. Now, I'm not telling you the times that you asked them for some McDonald's 
They said they got McDonald's at home. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the times where you asked him that you were starving and your stomach was growling. You said, I'm hungry. And they said, no. When is the, the when have you ever asked someone to support you on something and they just told you no, straight to your face, no. You know what I'm saying? You don't usually hear no's too often. And you know why we don't hear no too often? Because we rarely ask for things. Sometimes we feel like we are obligated or we feel like we are, uh, we are old things, you know? And um, I haven't felt that way in a long time, but uh, maybe like in my early 20s or something, I, I'm, I'm for sure, uh, I felt like I was old something because of, um, I don't wanna go into detail, but I'll just say because of something that I missed out on. So, you know, I felt like the world needed to compensate me uh, for my shortcomings. It is what it is. Uh, a lot of people can't admit that. A lot of people can't admit their faults. But it is what it is. I'm cool with that. I'm, you know, I'm solid in where I'm at. So I can say, I can admit that. But yeah, man, ask and you shall receive, man. We, a lot of people need to just, you know, extend that hand sometimes. Uh, you may have too much pride, and pride is the action right before fall. But uh, you should definitely try to extend your hand. Seek and you shall find. Um, I've never went on a search for anything that I never actually found. Unless I gave up, right? Think back to the last time you went on a search for something and you didn't find it. Uh you gave up you're always going to find what you're looking for right it's a universal it's a universal law you're going to find what you're looking for uh it may not be you know what you thought it was going to be but you're definitely going to get what you're looking for so uh keep that in mind and then my last point i want to make for this is uh knock and it shall be opened up to you now you can you can plug this in into different opportunities uh things of that nature you know what i mean um, if you want to do an internship, if you want to apply for a certain school, uh, you know, just if whatever opportunities or pathways or, or doors you want to go down in life, um, you won't necessarily, people won't know what you want unless you speak up for yourself, you know, to sum it all up, right? And with that being said, uh, these things can hinder you on your route to success. So never, never have too much pride and ego to be able to ask for help. Never have too much pride and ego to have to dig deep inside yourself and search for something or, or even to have to search the web and search for uh, a certain person, ask them a certain question. Um, and never ask, never be too shy or, you know what I'm saying, to ask for uh, a door to be opened up for you because it might just happen for you if you take the initiative you know what I'm saying people don't know what you want only you know what you want and uh, if you don't present it then the world can never hear it so if you like this video if you found it helpful uh, click that like button leave a comment that down at the bottom subscribe to the channel click that share button share it to your friends family members or who it may have you uh, we keep it on rocking out bro if you like these videos, man, rock with your boy, man. I'm going to keep going. And, um, yeah, man, I got a lot of things to do preparing for this week. We're about to have a, uh, another perfect week, man. Hopefully, we get to this 50 subscriber mark by Sunday. Let's do that. Let's get this thing popping. Keep this train rolling. I'll see y'all tomorrow.